Imperial Moths had a special role to play in the Empire. They not only resided over the Imperials' colossal militaries and fleets, but they also played a strong role in governing and politics. So how exactly did they become so powerful, and how powerful were they? So there was 20 Moths during the Age of the Galactic Empire, and they all answered to one ruling member, the Grand Moth, who was Tarkin. Now, the Moths' only real superiors were the Imperial Ruling Council, who were Palpatine's inner circle of advisors and allies, and of course Palpatine himself. Aside from this, they really were the highest ranking people in the entire galaxy. To many everyday citizens, they were probably the ones who they were the most familiar with, aside from the Emperor. Now, the Empire is a fascist state that relies on its strong military to maintain power, however it did still have a political arm. It did maintain the Senate even if it was powerless for quite some time. And this is important. In most governments, having a strong line between politics and military leaders is a way to ensure that both sides are obligated to follow orders and not do anything out of line. For this reason, in the Empire, senators and politicians still held some power over, say, a general or an admiral, meaning Imperial commanders couldn't necessarily do whatever they wanted. However, the Moths are where these two institutions become aligned. They are governors of sectors, but also members of the Imperial military. And with that comes an insane amount of power. You can say a Moth is very much an overlord of a section of the galaxy containing different worlds and systems, and they were the Emperor's will. Basically, not doing what a Moth said was basically the exact same as disobeying the Emperor himself, and these Moths, who also commanded fleets and countless troops, would be very quick to correct any form of insubordination. Now, you can very easily say that Moths were pretty tyrannical, and like nearly all tyrants, the way to get into their good books is to give them something, and this is a dynamic we see with the Moths. Say that you're a company CEO who needs more protection for your cargo vessels, or you're the Prime Minister of a world and needs a political rival removed. You can go and try to jump through the bureaucratic hoops of the Imperial government, maybe send a request to the toothless Imperial Senate, but that takes time and they're not very powerful. The best and most direct way to get something done is to go to your moth who is incredibly busy running a huge portion of the galaxy, so needless to say, you're going to have to give them things. A fancy ship, a summer palace, a droid army, cold hard credits, maybe throw them a parade in their honour. Having the ear of a moth is very similar to having like a direct line to the Emperor himself. For this reason, you can imagine that moths were probably amongst the richest and most powerful individuals in the galaxy. Anything they wanted, they got. And if you risked upsetting one, then they can put an end to you without any form of hesitation. So you may be thinking, well, how is this possible? Surely Palpatine didn't approve of this, his own underlings building up their power bases. Well, I think it's fair to say that Palpatine didn't really care. So long as the Moths did a good job in maintaining Imperial rule and extracting taxes or whatever else the Empire acquired from their territories, who cares how much they're making on the side? And if they ever got on Sidious's wrong side, it just gave him a great excuse and reason to have them killed. Now, you could potentially try to go over a Moth's head, either straight to the Grand Moth or the Senate, or some other sort of powerful person close to Sidious, but this is almost impossible. The Moths have the assets of the entire Empire behind them, the ISB for example, so if you try to do anything, you'll be caught. I mean, look at what happened to Krennic. His life work, the Death Star, was taken away from him because Tarkin wanted control over it. At the end of the day, what the Moths wanted, they got. And really, the entire galaxy was at the mercy of these people. And perhaps it was even a huge kindness to the galaxy when many of these tyrants were killed during the Battle of Yavin. But what do you guys think of Moths? Do you think that they were somehow still a force for good and order, or just evil, plain and simple? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I do hope that you enjoyed. If so, please remember to like, share and sub as it's really appreciated and we're so close to 100k now. I really do hope that you enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the Law Guy and tick the bell for regular updates. But most importantly, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.